Well, it's all about power grid load management and the supply and demand of energy. And as homes are becoming more tech savvy, teams like at UC Davis are working to find new ways to ease the demand on the California power grid in order to avoid things like rotating outages. Cal ISO has issued an energy emergency alert level three. Some of your appliances operational profiles have been adjusted according to your program enrollment. When organizations like the California Independent System Operator issue an energy emergency, you might think turn off your lights, turn your thermostat to the upper 70s, and avoid using your washer and dryer during peak hours. But that's just the beginning. This is all related to power grid load management. So at the highest level, the ISO is responsible for keeping the lights on. We're responsible for the reliability of the system. And uh, if we don't keep the system balanced, within our balancing authority, then um, that can cause some challenges. Those challenges include things like rotating outages in order to balance the supply of energy for the state with the household demand of energy for the state. But rotating outages are not ideal. So researchers like the team at UC Davis work to develop innovative technologies to find new ways to manage energy efficiency and their newest technology of study, home energy management systems. KISO issues an energy emergency alert the software system receives that signal and based on the configuration of the home, then the smart appliances will respond to reduce their load and reduce the stress on the grid. Cal ISO has issued an energy emergency alert level three. Once that alert is sent out, your smart appliances will communicate and flex. For example, your TV and lights will dim, your thermostat will adjust, and even your stove could soon adapt without you having to change these things manually. Officials say this will in turn save you money and save the grid from demand. In addition to this uh, load flexibility and smart home concept, the need for energy efficiency as a real measure to support the need to build additional power plants, for example, to help support the emissions reduction and clean energy goals of the state of California, but also to save people money, especially when you're talking about periods of high prices, uh, typically during the summer evening, and when you're looking at uh, some of these reliability challenges in recent years, but it's also putting money back in your wallet. Graber and the team at UC Davis hope this smart home system will reduce household energy usage by 20 to 40 percent. And right now, he says they have eight homes under a trial program, but they still have a long way to go before this becomes the household norm. As these new technologies become more integrated into these smart homes, officials tell me that there will be an opportunity to opt out of those automated adjustments. Reporting in Davis, covering local news that matters, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.